Taking a look at the metals markets today, I want to focus on gold. Gold, another big move higher today. Uh, we're seeing uh, coming out of the weekend a firm bid for the gold complex. Gold settling right around the 1327.90 level. We did see a high during the trading session of 1330.90, a low of 1310.90. So towards the upper end of the range, now I can tell you in the after hours markets, we're seeing gold continue to push higher, currently around a 1331 half level. So this rally is continuing folks and we're seeing weakness in the equity markets. Uh, so that concern is flowing into the gold markets, I think as a safe haven type of play. And uh, once again, we're seeing gold up now four consecutive days in a row and pushing back towards those highs that we saw at the end of March. So almost a nine week high when you look at the gold complex. U.S. dollar, I think, is one of the driving factors here. We're seeing some weakness uh, persist in the U.S. dollar once again today. I think that's serving as a tailwind to gold. Also, when you look at what's going on from a global perspective, I think another factor today was the equity market selling off here this afternoon. Now we're seeing, again, some duress now in the tech sector with some of the big names coming under some regulatory fire. And I think that that's also helping to support the gold complex today. And also you got to point to, again, the global tensions in and of themselves. We're seeing money go into those safe haven type of plays. We saw the 10 year get down to two spots, six zero yield today. So that's a very, that's basically almost a two year low for the 10 year yield. Continuing flows into, like, you, like I said, excuse me, gold. You're looking at silver being bid up uh, firmly today and also looking at the note and the bond complex, a strong bid there as we continue to see equity markets selling off. I think that's going to be that correlation, that negative correlation throughout this week. I think as we continue to see the tensions rise, equity markets continue to suffer because of that, you would expect that those safe haven type of plays like gold and silver are going to continue to maintain their upper trajectory.